Scarlett, what do you think then? Should children be offered hormone therapy to change gender? I think in the vast majority of cases that children should be left to, uh, to decide from day to day, from month to month, what gender they feel like. That, that I think that during, um, for the first 15, 18, 20 years of children's lives, that actually they're, they're exploring their sexuality, they're exploring what they are. And the last thing you want is to start making changes that stay there. So what I'm saying is, you know, my daughter was a complete tomboy. My 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 son said when I grow up and I'm a girl. I mean, both of them and most children I know um, have lots of ways that they're feminine in some ways and masculine in others. And I think that they should just be allowed to develop. And sometimes people, you know, girls want to be boys and boys want to be girls. And that's completely and utterly natural. And it's only when you get to the extremes, when the serious body dysmorphia, should they start going for counselling and then you think about it. But the whole problem of hormone therapy is it's irreversible. Leo. Yeah, I mean, as, as Scarlett said, uh, it's irreversible. These, these hormones, when you put the puberty blockers in, mm. the long-term changes can mean sterility, they can mean uh, stunted growth, uh, and all, all kinds of problems with uh, you know, osteoporosis and other health issues. So you really, you really want to be holding off on this stuff. And I think at the moment, the, the system and the schools, and the, uh, particularly the sort of leftist ideologues who've uh, infiltrated mm. academia and teaching, uh, they're, they're almost grooming these children. Uh, my, my friend Nico, uh, so he's got, he's got two girls, and uh, he said there's there's a, a boy at his uh, girls' school who was going through the dress not box, you know, picked out a Spider-Man outfit, picked out a Batman outfit, and picked out a, a princess dress mm. and like put them all down. And the counselor was straight over, being like, "Oh, did you want to wear the? <laughs> did you want to wear, wear the princess dress? You know, starting the process of you know putting these ideas in the kids' heads because you know children are are innocent and you know are, are vulnerable and easily guided by people. And you know, of course, if you if you make it fashionable and if you make it trendy for mm. for children to transition at the moment they've made it you know, at the moment you, if you look on tiktok and place you know social media uh younger generation generation z are using cisgender as a pejorative they're using it as an insult so it's the cool thing to be gender queer to be non-binary to be trans or whatever and you can see it across the media you know it's celebrated everywhere uh, in every institution so we've made it the cool thing to be so of course kids are going to be like oh yeah no i, th I think i'm i think i'm non-binary i think i'm gender queer i think i'm trans you know i think we need to just just calm down a little bit and just yeah. let people develop Philip.